Welcome to part 5 of 100 in this Android development tutorial series for beginners. Today we're going to make a snack bar. So here's the emulator that we have right now. I have the emulator open. And if you look at it, we have a button and you can hit that button and it says welcome. That's the toast message. So if you look at the code, there's a couple of things that are going on. First we have activity main. This is where we actually have our button. Um, it's button here and all this code all this code here is for the button. It has a margin, it has an ID, it's, we're using relative layout, but we want to, we want to make a snack bar because it's a little bit more modern. So, and we also have the design view so we can see what it looks like and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it better. I'm on my, on my MacBook Pro, the 15 inch one with the touch bar. I just got a couple of, about a month ago. Love, by the way. So if you go back to, um, well, and I'm in Android view right now, so open up Android view go into app, Java, the first one, and not the two tests. Those are for testing. We, we may get into those later, but those are for testing. And we created an about and contact class. They don't really do anything. But what we're interested in is main activity. So I'm gonna open up main activity, and this is what we were just looking at earlier. So here it is, so toast.makeText. Snack bar is similar, so let's go ahead and start that. So we have our link to our button there, and it's called the IDs button, and if we go here, we click on there, we can see, yeah, the ID is button. That's really important. Whatever goes right here needs to be the same as right there. Um, so that's important. And then we're getting, so the variable M button, we're going down here and we're saying, hey, every time somebody clicks on it, on click, do between this and this. See how they're highlighted in yellow? Anything between there, do. So let's start typing snack. And we don't have snack bar. What's going on? Well, Snack Bar is part of the design library for Android, so I'm going to switch over to Chrome really quickly. And I pull, I just Googled it, and you can pull it up. And this is a, um, a, a blog post, and just scroll to the bottom and Google Android Design Library, or you can just copy this text. Um, so I'm going to copy that. You can just look at the screen if you want. And we need to go into, we need to add it. It's going to add a little bit of code. It's going to pull in from the internet. So we go to their build.gradle file. Now there are two of them. There's one for the project and there's one for the app or one for the module. We want the module one. So go down. So here it is. This kind of tells you target SDK version, version code. We've talked about that a little bit. Go to the bottom where it says dependencies and create a new line and just paste that in there. And if you notice, it's giving me an error. Why is that? So go up to the top, kind of just see your target SDK version 25, aim it 25, and we can also see it's right here also. So you can just copy that number. So it's 25.1.0, I'm gonna save it. That should, yeah, so so this is just gonna pull in the, the design library. So 25.1.0, now really important, it's not gonna pull on that code until you hit sync. And there's also a sync button up here somewhere, I think that's it. Yeah, sync. So this will take a couple of seconds at least. It's pulling the code in. Um, it's indexing. It's doing that. Okay, great. Now I'm going to close that. So now let's go back to here and let's see what we can do. So let's start typing snack bar. And here it is. You can see we have no snack bar. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's similar to the toast. So just put a dot and it'll tell you what cloud, what methods are on it. And we can see here make is one of them. It's probably showing up because I've done it before, but actually it'll probably show up for you also. So make, and then it'll tell you what it needs. So it needs a view. So I'm just gonna call that for now. We'll get into that in a second, but we'll call that um, rel relative layout. Actually, let's do something. Let's do, let's do. Now we need a message, welcome. Then snack bar dot length, uh, let's do length long and then we need to do dot show on it so do show so what is this going to do it's basically similar to the toast where we start out with instead of toast at snack bar make then we need a kind of an apparent view and we'll get into that in just a second a message how long it's going to be displayed for length long and then we need to show it so i'm actually going to comment out this toast and we're just going to do that with two lines at the beginning of the line and it'll, it'll go gray. So now this is not going to work. It's going to crash because we need relative layout. So what is that? So let's go back into our activity main and I'm going to go in. Um, so 
I, I, you, can, you can tell here it's activity main is the ID, but I usually just use the text view. And we can tell the, the relative layout, its ID is yeah activity main. So that should be the same thing there. I just I usually use XML just because it's easier for me. I like the control I can get. But that might change with constraint layout and the new UI builder. But anyway, we have activity main. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Actually, we don't need to, we don't really uh, we'll go into here. So let's do above button, let's do relative layout. And it's going to auto populate for me and relative. And I'm going to do control spacebar to automatically auto complete the name for us. It'll guess what we want. Now we need to come down here. So we defined it up here, but now we don't, we need to link it from this Java. Like just like we need to link this button, that's how we link it from the Java code and to the XML code. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do M relative layout equals find view by ID r.id and then whatever we called it and, and we called it uh, it, was, it was actually already called activity main so I'm just going to close that out and if you see we're getting an error so I'm going to put my mouse over it do option enter and then the first option is cast it, it just adds that right there in parentheses so that's all you need to worry about there and this might actually work so let's run it with control R then I'm going to open up the emulator and we'll see if it works this will take just a second to load so just be patient and I think this will work. Let's do button and there it is. So we can't, so yeah, there it is. So every time you hit the button, it's gonna pull up that stack bar. Um, and I wanna show you something. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go to stack bar, I'm gonna hit a dot. And a lot of times you can hit a dot after a method name or a class or something and you can see what it takes. So I can, so I just went backspace, I went to stack bar Put a dot and it says length long, length in depth, and like we'll just change it to length short. So see what that does. Save it. I'm gonna run it. Go back to the emulator, and this should run. Instant run is on for me, so I'm gonna hit the button, and instantly it shows it, and then it makes it go away. It's a shorter one now. So this is how you create a snack bar in Android Studio. First, go into the module at build.gradle file, add the design library like we had there. Um, just copy over the version number. Right now it's 25.1.0. You can get that from there. And, it, and also it'll help you out. But um, go into the XML, get the ID of the, the container, the relative layout in this case. Go to your Java, set up the relative layout, link it to your XML, um, and then do snack .make, snack bar make, pass in some variables, call the show method on it, and that'll work. So hopefully you learned something. This is part five of 100. Um, join me in the next video. We'll, I forget what we'll do, but we'll learn some more stuff. See you then.